Okay, hey guys, I have another amazing interview. I want to introduce you to Brenner. Uh, so, hi Brenner, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you? Great. In fact, uh, you sent me a before and after. I was just, uh, you know, really impressed. So I wanted to get to uh, know exactly how you achieved that. And um, can you tell me a little bit about, um, have you had a weight problem for a long period of time, or were you thin and you gain weight? What's your story in a th thumbnail sketch? Well, basically, I've always been a thin person um, my whole life. Never had any weight issues. Um, was very athletic. Um, I used to serve in the military, so I was in the Army. Very athletic. Enjoyed a very athletic, healthy life. Um, I'm getting ready to be 40 years old. Oh, wow. And where did you go to basic training? I did it at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Oh my gosh. What, what uh, month did you go in? Did you go in the summer? I went in the summer of 1999, September, I went September of 1999. Wow. I was there at Fort Jackson in 83 in the summer. It's so yes. hot there. You actually sweat out of the back of your, your hands. It's so hot. Extreme. They're very mean down there too. Were they as mean as they were back then? I don't know. I think they had the stress cards. I don't know if you came in there when they had the stress cards. No, they were mean. They didn't have the stress cards. <laughs> I took it personally. I was like, I was. That was very, very rude. Like, oh my god, it was terrible. So I didn't know it was a whole game. But anyway, um, getting back to you, you went through basic training, and then what happened? Um. I went through basic training, had a military life, got out of the military, went back to school, got a degree. Um, I had a child, um, still was thin. After a matter of fact, I um, had my baby, uh, my oldest son, he's 14, lost the weight with no problems. Quick. And matter of fact, people thought I was sick. Then, um, so let's fast forward about 10 years later, 10 or 15, yeah, about 10 years later, um, all of a sudden I had a very stressful job. Um, started gaining a lot of weight. Plus I had quit smoking. So I gained like 40 or 50 pounds and then I, qu I quit smoking and then I got pregnant right after I quit smoking, which was interesting. Um, and then after I had my baby, I was at about 190 pounds, 187, 190 for a long time. Uh, it was well over a year, which I wasn't used to that. Um, and then I just got to a point where I was like, you know, I, if I keep letting this go, I'm going to end up 200 pounds. I'm going to end up 350 pounds. It's just never going to stop. So what I started doing was I started changing my diet basically. Um, so finally, after I changed my diet, I did get back down to 160, which was the pre uh, pregnancy weight. Then I started working out, doing the traditional things, low fat diet, working out. And guess what? I wasn't losing weight and I was killing myself at the gym. Um, so then I ran into intermittent fasting and it changed my life. Um, I started intermittent fasting. I said, OK, you know what? This sounds like it'll work. I'm going to try it. First week ooh, was very tough because I was used to eating three, four, five times a day. Um, then the second week like a breeze. I did it like a champ. Third, uh, the third week did it like a champ. So really initially I did it, um, truthfully for two weeks. And that's when I started losing the weight. I lost like within two weeks, about 10 pounds. Wow. So, so what was your pattern when you did this the first and second week? Uh, the first and second week I basically did the 16, eight. Um, so I would start, I would eat my lunch. My first meal of the day would be about noon. Um, sometimes one o'clock in the morning, of course, you might be a little bit hungry, um, but you get past that because your body adjusts and you get used to it. Um, but what I started doing is I would have green tea in the morning. Um, it would either, it usually matcha green tea and I would put MCT oil in my tea. So I use a lot of MCT oil. Um, and then I would take a whole food vitamin and I drank a lot of water. And what else? I took chromium pills because somebody had told me that that helps with sugar cravings. Um, yeah, so, and th they really do work. Um, so I started taking those probably two weeks after that. But um, once I started losing the weight with intermittent fasting, I, you couldn't stop me. At that point, I was like, this works. So then um, I guess by the grace of God, I ended up finding out about the ketogenic diet. So then I started cutting out sugar. 
Um, so I basically have been introducing both of those things into my lifestyle. Um, but for sure, I try to do hardcore. I'm I'm hardcore intermittent faster. Um, and as time went on, maybe within a month, I started uh, cutting my window to about four o'clock and then sometimes three o'clock. Um, so in other words, you wouldn't eat until three or four o'clock. Sometimes I wouldn't eat till about three or four o'clock or I would eat at noon and I wouldn't eat after like four. Okay. So basically what's your window of eating? My window of eating on average right now is between 12 and four. You mean 12 hours and four hours? Yeah. So I'll eat, I'll eat lunch and then I'll eat again, maybe at about four o'clock. So I eat dinner at four. Oh, four hours. Mm -hmm. Oh, 12 and four, not 12 hours and four hours, 12 and four. That's four hours. Okay, good. That makes sense. Yeah, so I just eat uh, virtually about two times a day, um, and I eat like a healthy meal. Like I eat meat, I eat vegetables, um, just solid stuff. I'll eat uh, cream cheese. I love cheeses. Um, I mean, I'll even eat for dinner sometimes if I want to. I'll eat bacon and eggs. Um, I'm huge on avocados. Um, so as you can see, I try to do the ketogenic diet as well with my intermittent fasting. And that has really worked. My energy is through the roof. So <laughs> so, so for those of you that are watching that don't know anything about this, the combination of adding ketosis with intermittent fasting is probably one of the most powerful ways to get the weight off simply because it heals insulin. And I just want to I want to just say one thing. Um, like the question I always get is, how do you get... What triggers ketosis? What food triggers ketosis? Um, no food. It's the absence of insulin. That's what triggers ketosis. So you can eat too much protein and trigger insulin. You can eat more than too many carbs and trigger insulin. Fat is basically neutral. However, it, but just by the fact of eating it can trigger insulin. So that's why the combination does work if you're trying to lose weight. You have to do it gradually, you know, for some people because... Do it too fast. If you're hypoglycemic, you can crash and burn. But there is a way to do it healthily, adding a lot of vegetables and uh, making sure your vitamin and mineral. But I mean, you're just you're proof that it does work. There's no one that can convince you that uh, eating five meals a day is a good thing anymore. <laughs> now, are you are you also adding any exercise in there too? Yes. Um, you know what the funny thing is? I don't exercise as much. I might exercise three days three days out of the week. And that includes maybe a four mile run. So, and that's it. Um, I, I do want to start weight training. Um, but other than that, I don't, I work out three days a week, maybe. Wow. And how did you find my videos? Oh man, just Googling, searching. I, <laughs> I'm a huge fan, first of all. So anything I want to know, I'm like, well, let's ask Dr. Berg, <laughs> you know, so I'm, 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 Going on your channel looking for help with all kinds of things. I actually had a hair issue too. Um, I had a hair issue and a skin issue. I mean, I had a lot of different issues going on and it all revolved around nutrition. Um, so thank you for, um, you know, enlightening me about that. I actually take your essential minerals, which has helped a lot with my hair because my hair was thinning and it the was. The plant, the plant based trace minerals, the, the liquid? Yes. Okay, those yes. are plant, yeah, the plant based trace minerals, yeah. Mm hmm. So I incorporated that into my diet as well, which gives me a lot of energy. And um, man, I've, I've just did a complete change in my life. And, and one thing I've noticed is that other people notice as well. So they're constantly asking me questions. I've got people at my job subscribe to your channel. Um, and I was really excited um, to do this interview because um, I was telling people at my job and they were like, oh, my goodness, the Dr. Bird that that you sent me um, the information about. And I was like, yeah. So I've got people at my job doing intermittent fasting. I've got people um, at my job asking me questions about the essential minerals. And um, it's, it's just ignorance is not bliss. So it, it really can hurt you if you don't know. That's true. Um, there's there's a lot of little de the, the the devil's in the details. There's a lot of details about it that people need to understand. Like for example, uh, trace minerals. It's hard to get that from food. If you don't have trace minerals, you can start losing your hair. Trace minerals basically help proteins in your body: hair, nail, skin, collagen, joints. Uh, so you know, a lot of times people are falling apart. Their skin gets loose. They might lose lose weight, but they don't look good as they are losing weight. 
So um, you look great. I mean, you look like you're very healthy. So for people to uh, say it's unhealthy, they just don't understand it. Like I'll see, um, especially dietitians who, honestly, uh, you know, they've just been kind of influenced by the um, the big food manufacturing companies because they'll say something about intermittent fasting or ketosis, which tells you they don't have a clue of what it really is. They think that you're going to be hungry after a period of time and go back to carbs. They think it's a starvation diet. They think it's the fat's going to kill your heart, like all this false data, um, or it might lead to diabetes. It's just the opposite. It's like, it's very healthy and you could do it long term. But the goal, I think with, you probably would agree, um, now that you've experienced it, you, um, you're more in control of your body. You, if something happens, you know how to go more into ketosis if you want it. You could manipulate it. You understand how your body reacts to insulin. You now see why everyone's fat out there. You know, it's obvious. There's no more mystery. It's like, of course. So um, it's probably hard. It's, for me, it's hard not to want to help everyone I see because some people don't want your help. It's like, some um, people just aren't going to believe you. They're going to think you're crazy. Yeah. It kind of makes them wrong because they're like, um, oh, so you're basically telling me all I need to do, everything I've done is wrong. And I'm like, no, I'm not trying to tell you. <laughs> but yes, it, it is. But there's a way to do it that's simple. Um, doesn't have to be painful. You have to transition. But um, yeah, so that's awesome. Yeah. I, I do want to say this. When I started this journey, I was a size 12. Um, I am down to a size 4. Just last week, I bought um, two pair of jeans, size 4 from Express. And that's amazing. And you know, the funny thing is, when I was... I weigh exactly 100, between 135 and 138 right now. When I weighed that weight before a healthy lifestyle, I was more into like a size eight, size six, size eight. So it's like I've lost a lot of inches in inflammation. Does that make sense? Totally. So totally. even though I may not be, and I'm still working towards a certain goal because I'm 5'4", um, about five. Five three and a half, five four. So I'm trying to get to maybe a few more pounds or whatnot um, because I have a small frame. Um, so I'm still working on this goal, and it's still happening very easy. And um, what I've also done is uh, typically you're not supposed to have on the keto diet. You're not supposed to have more than 20 carbs a day. But everybody's different, so um, I can have a little bit more because I've tested my body using the keto sticks, which. I've heard they're not great to use, but then I think they are because it's been working for me. Um, I can have a little bit uh, more than 20 carbs a day because I still stay in some form of ketosis um, as far as the keto sticks tell me. But um, my energy is through the roof. Um, I have a different perspective on food. Um, I've even got my mom and my sister doing it now. My mom went from a size 18 to a size, I think she's in a size 14 now. And my sister went from a size 18 and she's a size 10. That's incredible. So I've even got my family members doing it. So I, you're right. You try to help everybody. <laughs> Some people don't let you help them. You want to strangle them. It's like, yeah. want to help? Oh, okay. Let me push you down the stairs. Now you want me to help? <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's funny. It's um, family is, it's kind of the, for me, it's the hardest people to help because they, they kind of uh, know you, your history. So you come in there and you give them advice and, got to be careful about trying to help too many people because they, they, sometimes they don't want to be fixed uh, fixed and or helped. And uh, so I basically my policy is I'll help people that want to be helped. That's why I like YouTube because you put it out there. People are searching. They came to you. They get the information. If they don't want help, they're not going to watch your video. So it's perfect. You know, it's, it's an educational thing and uh, people can learn all over the world. And uh, why hold it back? Why not just give people exactly what to do and uh you know that's what it's all about so um can i also add something else yeah um another thing i noticed with intermittent fasting and and this new lifestyle is that my memory is um my job i'm an executive accountant so i have to deal with like numbers a lot and uh i can recall like numbers like crazy i mean and sometimes i test myself <laughs> 
because I, I, you know, I just want to know how long can I remember this number? Can I remember exactly verbatimly just by looking at it and examining it? And I, I can. So it, um, I guess that may have something to do with maybe the ketogenic diet and introducing more healthy fats or I don't know. But I've noticed that my memory is a lot better as well. So Well, let me just bring that up because glucose, if you're running by glucose, you're going to be susceptible to the highs and lows of blood sugars, which is going to negatively affect your memory. That's why Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and dementia is all related to insulin resistance. I mean, I'll give you an example. Um, I think when I was 28, you know, I was like I'm 29 right now. No, I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> 52. But when I was younger, my memory was so bad. Like I'm, a I'm like, like I'm losing my memory. And I thought it was old age. It's not old age. You shouldn't have that. My memory is so much better now. Um, I mean, one time I, uh, I was like, I forgot what toothbrush, toothbrush is mine. I'm like, there's two toothbrushes, my wife's and mine. What color is mine again? I'm like, am I losing it? What's going on? So I picked the wrong toothbrush. I'm like, what's, yeah, this is crazy. So, um, yeah, memory is much better, but, uh, cognitive function because now your brain is running on ketones, better fuel source, more efficient, less waste product. So... Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I want to thank you so much for your before and after, sending, sending that in, and also this video, because I think it's going to give a lot of people some encouragement and hope that they can also do a similar thing. So um, it's proof. I mean, look at before and after. It's like no one can deny that. So thank you so much for this interview. Thank you. Thank you so much for asking me. It's my pleasure. My pleasure, too. Okay. Have a great day. All right. Thank you. You too. Bye. Okay, bye bye.